Hey guys, it's Jack, and today I'm going to share with you guys how to use the Kapwing editor in 2024. So I actually made a video on this for 2023 where I shared a bunch of updates to the Kapwing video editor, as well as most of the basics for video editing, like splitting, trimming, adding overlays, adding text, resizing videos, and more. But there have been so many updates since 2023 in the Kapwing editor, so I thought I had to make another one because there's a huge difference in how many smart tools have been released which can increase the productivity of editing video. So many AI tools to cover in this video that I'm really excited to just go over in case you miss any of the releases this past year. That being said though, most everything mentioned in the 2023 version of this video is still relevant, but since I've already covered most all of the basic video editing tasks like I mentioned in that video, I'm not going to go too deeply into them in this video. So if you want to watch that, you can click somewhere up here on this little pop-up and it'll take you over there. It's also in the description and you can watch that one. If you're looking for more updates in the Kapwing editor, looking for new productivity tools, and you already know the basics of Kapwing, this is probably the video for you. So keep on watching. So firstly, what is Kapwing? Kapwing is an online video editor that helps creators and teams create more content faster. Kapwing is a video editor that uses a lot of AI technology to speed up tedious tasks that you might do manually. With Kapwing, you no longer have to split your entire rough cut manually. We can help you do that. If you're taking one long form video and trying to turn that into five or 10 social media clips, we can do that for you in just a few clicks. You can add text to speech to videos that sounds like you using voice cloning, or even dub your videos into different languages with your own voice. Pero, ¿qué pasa si tu audiencia habla un idioma diferente al tuyo? And this is just scratching the surface. There's tons more I'm going to show you in this video. And you can try Kapwing and many of the features that I'm going to be highlighting today for free by clicking the first link in the description. So let's get into it and see all the new tools that Kapwing has to offer. Alright you guys, so once you click the first link in the description, It'll take you to kapwing.com, which is an online video editor. All you're going to want to do is click get started or sign in if you already have a free or paid account. And then you can click create new project if you want to create something new or open up an existing project you already have. So I've decided to use an existing project which has a long video. But if you're uploading a video, just drag in a video or paste in a link. Okay, so we're going to go through the video editing process as you usually would. And the first aspect of video editing is is usually the rough cut. So we have several different tools to speed up the rough cut. And so to make use of them, you're going to go over to the transcript tab on the left here. And then you'll see this little drop down menu that says smart tools. Go ahead and click that. And then you'll see that you're able to do a couple different things. So cut filler words is one and repurpose project. I'm going to show you guys cut filler words right now. Okay, so because this is a 53 minute long video, you can see this has now been cut up into a million different segments, but clearly it's cut off quite a lot of filler words in this video. And if you look in the transcript, you can actually see that they've been deleted out and it's deleting these ums. Now, if there is a filler word you actually do want to keep, you can just click that filler word and then click the restore button and then it will restore back into the video. This is because this is now using a tool called Trim with Transcript. So you can actually cut and trim segments of the video just using the transcript now without having to do anything technical. So video is now as easy as editing text. To show you an example of this, let's say that this video obviously, as you can see, is 53 minutes, but I wanna make this closer to 45 minutes. All I have to do is in the transcript, highlight all of the portions that you want to get rid of, and then the delete option will pop up. Go ahead and click that. And now as you can see, it's all struck out of the video and it's no longer in the timeline. The video is now 47 minutes. And you can do this with large bits of text like this. You can do it with single sentences like so, or even just a single word. And if anything is cut that you want to restore, just go back into the transcript and highlight it again and click the restore button. And you can see it popped up right there again. So this can help you take videos from a long form video down to short form. But let's say that you have a long form video and you want to turn that into not just one, but maybe five or 10 short form videos for social media that are in vertical format. Now AI can help you do that as well in just a few clicks without having to do very much manually at all. To do that, you're gonna go back up to the smart tools dropdown under the transcript tab. 
or if you haven't generated the transcript yet or used trim with transcript, when you click the transcript button, it will be under here, under trim with transcript, it'll be repurpose project. You can go ahead and click that. Then click the language that the video is in. So it's English and then click open repurpose studio. Or if you have a long form video that's downloaded and you're trying to upload it and you didn't originally edit it in Kapwing, you can go to your workspace where you create new projects and instead just click repurpose content. And so from here, you can upload a new piece of footage, like a long form video or paste in something like a YouTube video. So then it'll take a few minutes for the video to process. It will read the video transcript and also look for who is speaking in the video. So it can automatically cut between speakers based on who's speaking. And then you'll end up with these clips that it pulls from the source file based on the transcript. So you can quickly see in here as well, what portions of the video are being highlighted just by looking at the transcript, the white text is what's being said. The gray text is what is being omitted. And of course, you can listen to what's being spoken. Well, asking some questions up front about what is a video strategy, uh, is it even good to have one? But I also had a guest in this video. So if I click this, you'll see that it automatically is highlighting her when she is speaking instead of me, which is also great. All of these platforms are prioritizing video. We should be making video. But if you don't have anything to say, in a video format, um, then that's just extra noise. Now there are a few things that you can do up top if you aren't completely happy with all of these or want some formatting change for all of the videos at once. In a minute, I'll show you guys how to make individual edits to individual clips. But for these, these will be applied to all of the clips that it pulls for you. So firstly, on the left here, if you click that, you'll be able to add in any templates that you have. So as you can see, some of the templates that I've made before include a logo that lives in the corner, different text fonts and where different text lives on the canvas. So in this one, it's more in the middle. On these ones, it's down below. So let's say I use my webinar to template. I can apply that. And now you can see that all of these videos all have that same text, the same font and the logo in the top corner. So you're able to create brand templates and then apply them to all videos at once so that they all meet your brand standards. If you want to create a template, you can just click this button right here and then edit and export one of your clips that you like to create a new custom template based on that project. Next to that, you can see we have the format button, which will change the aspect ratio to different formats for different social medias. So right now you can see we're under nine by 16, which works for TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts. Next to that is YouTube if you want to make horizontal videos. If you want to make square Instagram posts, you can click this button or Instagram post portraits, four by five aspect ratio, click that. I'm not gonna change this because most platforms are universally nine by 16 now in short form vertical videos. I'm just gonna keep it as that. Next to that, you can see the subtitle font. So you can scroll through here and find one that you like. And then to the right of that, we have the speaker focus option. So as you can see, speaker focus is on right now because in this video, when I'm speaking, I am on frame. In this video, it detects that Megan is speaking, so she is in the frame. But if you turn speaker focus off, it will take the original aspect ratio and put us both in frame. And if you aren't happy with your clips, you can click the regenerate clips button right here. Now, if you are happy with some of your clips, you're able to immediately just click the export button right here if it's perfect. You can click export, it will begin to export for you. And then once it's done, you'll be able to download right here. You can see it's processed saying it at 15%. However, if you wanna make any specific edits to a clip, I will show you how to do that now. So all you have to do is find the clip that you wanna make edits to, and then click on the edit as a project button next to export. Click that and it'll open a project with the timeline in Kapwing Studio. This is great because all of your generated clips are completely customizable by you. So as we can see here, this video is one minute and 10 seconds. Let's say I wanna post this everywhere. So not just TikTok and Instagram, but also YouTube Shorts, which has a 60 second video limit. So I wanna get this down below the one minute mark. So once again, I can use Trim with Transcript and just highlight what I don't want and I can click delete. I'll do that again here. I'll do that again here. Okay, so now we can see that this video is under one minute long. I just have to bring down 
the logo here, and now it's 58 seconds approximately. So awesome, if I'm done now, all I have to do is click the export project button and that video is ready to go. So you're able to customize individual videos that are pulled from Repurpose Studio as well, which can be great and a huge time saver. But now let's say that I want to post this content which was recorded in English, but I want to localize this for different markets around the world. So say that you want to start making a Spanish YouTube channel. How would I go about turning this content that I already have and easily turning that into another language so it's accessible to other people around the world who speak different languages without actually having to have a native Spanish speaker re-record the video? Well, we have voice cloning and dubbing tools for that. What this means is that you will be able to record your own voice and let AI use your voice to speak in another language so that it sounds like you and your original content just speaking in another language so you can tap another market. So I've just opened a new project because this is actually a short form version of a product announcement that we were doing. So this would be exactly the type of thing that's really important for us to localize. When we release a new feature in the product, we obviously want as many people to understand it and use it as possible. So obviously I speak English and I don't know how to speak Spanish. So what I would do is I would go over to the subtitles tab here. And then under that, there is a dub video button. I would go ahead and click that. And then my original video is in English. I want to translate it into Spanish. You can pick any language that is here, but I do want Spanish. And then you can decide if you want to clone the voice with the voice that's in this video. You can use another voice clone that you've already created as well. So I already have a voice clone that I've made. Or you can use the regular text-to-speech voices. And then go ahead and click the dub video button. This feature is only available for people with business and enterprise plans. So if you want to check out pricing, go to kapoing.com slash pricing to see if this is something that you would want. Okay, so now you can see that it is translated into Spanish. En el video de hoy, nos sumergimos en el futuro de la creación de videos y exploramos mis tres predicciones sobre cómo la IA revolucionará la industria en 2024. So pretty impressive to me. Not only does it turn my voice into Spanish, it also isolated the background music and extracted that so the background music is still there only the voice was edited and of course it was subtitled as well on screen so now i could export this project and post it on any you know kapwing spanish TikTok that we had, for instance. Now I would say it's always a good idea to get someone who's fluent to check and make sure that the translation's good, but generally speaking, this tool is quite accurate. Now I did tell it to just clone the voice in this video, but what if you want to create your own voice clone that you can use in any video? So you can always use a text-to-speech voice that sounds like you in any video that you want. All you have to do is go to the audio tab on the left here and go to the text-to-speech tab, then go to the clone voice button in the bottom right, then type in the name of your voice clone. Now you can either upload a file or you can record a sample in the editor. I highly recommend uploading a file if you have a file using a really high quality microphone because it uses this file to clone your voice. So if you're using, you know, your MacBook audio or your AirPod microphone or things like that, oftentimes the audio can sound tinny and the voice clone will replicate that. However, if you're using a high quality microphone like a podcast mic or something like that, go ahead and use that. You can also record your sample in here and show a script. It will give you a script. You can go ahead and read that and then it will clone your voice that way. And you have to confirm that this is your voice or that you have permission to use this voice and you're not gonna use it for anything malicious. So what's great about this now is you could write in anything you want whenever you need text to speech using your own voice. So let's say I forgot to record my YouTube outro. I could say, make sure to subscribe. I will see See you guys next time. Then go down to your voice and make it your voice clone. Then click generate and then go ahead and listen. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and I will see you guys next time. And then of course, on top of that, because it's blank, I could put in any images. I could put a subscribe button like that. I could put in a colored element behind it with one of our brand colors, like so. Send it backward and add in our logo. And now you have a YouTube outro without even recording anything. Make, make sure to subscribe to our channel and I will see you guys next time. So voice cloning can be extremely useful if you don't have your recording equipment available, if you forget to record something, or if you just can't be bothered to do a quick voiceover and you already have your voice available. Another thing I wanted to show you guys was all of the Kapwing AI tools that we released in 2023. So if you open up a new project, 
project and come down here to type any topic to create content with Kapwing AI, you'll see a list of things that you can do. From creating memes to creating images to also creating entire videos just with a text prompt. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to create a video. This won't create a video that you're probably thinking of that's sort of AI generated completely from scratch. This will actually use stock footage and royalty free music to create a faceless video about the topic at hand. So for instance, I might say generate a video about TikTok search engine optimization. I would make it a 9 by 16 size. I could come over here to the narration voice and use my voiceover from my voice clone that I just showed you how to make. Pick your subtitle text style and then pick the duration of the video that you want and click generate video. So as you can see, it generated a video with subtitles, music, using my voice clone and with a bunch of B-roll. So let's see how it goes. So you want to make your TikTok videos shine brighter? Let's talk about TikTok search engine optimization SEO. It's like giving your videos a secret code that helps them get discovered. By using relevant hashtags, catchy captions, and engaging content, your videos can pop up when people search for similar stuff. So it's a pretty cool tool, I think, to where you can create a video literally without recording anything. All this, of course, is completely customizable as well because it's in the timeline, so I could take any of these pieces of B-roll and delete them and add in new ones. I could change the text and the voiceover and regenerate, change the background music. And you can also use Kapwing AI to do many different things like create a slideshow, take an article and turn it into a video, like a news article if you're doing a school project or if you work at a news agency. I'm not gonna go into all these tools specifically because I've done numerous videos on these, but I just wanted to cover all the different Kapwing AI tools that you can use today. All right, you guys, that covers many of the new releases. Here at Kapwing, our goal is to make content creation as easy and quick as possible. So we're always trying to put out new tools that are available for you guys. If you want to learn all the basics of Kapwing, like how to split, add in overlays, add in music, add in text, things like that. I highly recommend going to the video I made on how to use Kapwing in 2023. All of that video is still relevant. Go ahead and watch that video and thanks for watching. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up with other tutorials like this one and we'll see you guys in the next one.